let's talk about watercolor brush pens, which are also part of the design journey family. Have you already used brush pens? They are so versatile. You can't only use them for coloring, but also for brush lettering and modern calligraphy. And the best thing about it is that they are also water soluble. So you can take your water brush or just a normal brush for water coloring and uh, dissolve the pigments and create beautiful watercolor effects. This set of uh, watercolor brush pens by Stadler comes in 36 colors. And one special thing about them is that they have two tips or two sides. The first one is a really small tip or has a really small tip. And you can create fine details and really soft fine lines and dots. And the other side is a brush tip which also responds to pressure. You can do really soft and fine lines and also if you add pressure, you can do thick lines and color things in. Yeah, uh, as you can see, I already swatched all of the colors and tried to um, yes, yeah, solve them with water to see how it looks on the paper. And I think this is such a great and fun color range and you can really do everything with it. So yeah, um, I love brush pens. The watercolor brush pens are also part of the design journey range, which means that they are just perfect for beginners. For paper, I would use or recommend a paper with a really smooth or almost no texture, so you don't ruin your, your tip of the brush. And uh, if you want to get watercoloring effects, it's the best thing to work with a um, watercolor paper, of course. So a heavyweight paper with almost no structure, a really smooth watercolor paper. In the next tutorial, I teach you basic brush pen techniques using a blossom as an example. With these brush pens, you can create beautiful art pieces even as a beginner. Join my free art class at stedler.com for further brush pen tutorials and even more inspiration.